Kamala Harris, you are as fake as press on nails. Can you imagine the party we are going to have when Kamala gets into office? <laughs> I mean, like, hell, man, who they got? Kid Rock? I got Beyonce and Taylor Swift. I'd rather be at that party any day. And guess what? We got all the best cultures, the best food. No. I feel optimism and happiness. I see communities coming together to support each other. I see white people defending black people, black people coming out and defending white people. And they hate that. They can't have that. Nope. I'm not going to let them steal my joy. Don't. You know what MAGA hates the most about of us? Our joy. We are the party of fun. We are the party of love, compassion, empathy. We're the party that knows how to bring up the underdog. We know how to help each other out. We know how to raise and support our middle class. They freaking hate that about us. Have you ever been to a party and there's that one person in the room that's just the light, the person that's having fun, the person that's dancing and joyful? There will always be that group on the other side. Oh, my God, look at her. Look at him. Blah, 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 blah. And try to, try to take away that person's light. That's exactly what they are trying to do right now. These people always look the same. Look at the eyes. To make it simple, I don't even want to say anything particular to her. I want you to know your opinion after watching this video. Let's discuss on the comment section because... I might say something that is not right on this platform. According to this lady, we are jealous because celebrate celebrities are coming out to endorse Kamala. They <laughs> it is insane when I look at people like this. Taylor Swift endorsement turned out to be something that backfired. Immediately, people turned on her and instead went toward Trump. They are not seeing pools. I cannot blame her anyway. This message is for Oprah Winfrey and all you celebrities and stuff that you bought on your TV so that people could listen to lying Kamala Harris and all that. I want you all to trade places with a woman like me. I'm not middle class. I'm low income. I want y'all to trade places with me. I want y'all to put me and my family, me and my son is facing eviction because people want three times the rent and I'm low income. I want y'all to ha swap houses with me, swap cars with me, swap lives with me, you celebrities that want people to continue to be in their situation that they're in where y'all don't have to worry about it. Y'all don't run out of gas. Y'all don't have to check your bank account. Y'all like so get cut off. Y'all not on food stamps. So you celebrities, shut the hell up. Over with for you, sit your tail down somewhere and have some sense. Stop being ignorant, you Democrats. We're out here suffering. Y'all don't have to worry. Y'all don't have to return over y'all $10 million mansions and y'all $5 million bank account. Trade places with me. And then tell. Yes, Oprah and Kamala interview didn't go as planned. When you take a look at social medias and the kind of videos I've seen people putting out particular to it, they are angry. You saw the backlash after Taylor Swift endorsement. People are extremely not happy with this. If you understand, for a very long time, people have a different mindset particular to Oprah. And I don't know if that was a wise decision they took or what exactly. It is turning to something I never saw coming. Look at this lady. These people don't care about you. They don't look to see what people experienced when Trump was there. They just care about themselves. This lady is looking into what is happening with the economy, taking into consideration. When a question suffers to Kamala, particularly the economy, we never saw a good response. She didn't even respond to that question. She has a strategy when a question suffers and she doesn't know the answer, she will start making like she's educating you. They're rambling on, rambling on, at the end of the day, saying nothing.
People are wise now. They understand the strategy she has been putting out for some time now. What's happening with P. Diddy isn't the distraction, it's the point. Many people are posting how what's being talked about with Puff Daddy or P. Diddy is a distraction from Trump's second would-be assassinator. We're getting too close to finding out who the assassin attempt person was. No, that's not what it was. What's going on with P. Diddy is the point. It's the point to all of this. Gotta do something about these missing children grabbed up by perverts. Too many incidences. Fast trial. F day penalty. No party like a P. Diddy party. Free Weinstein. Free Epstein. Now P. Diddy. And P. Diddy's got it all on tape. He's got, what, 15 years of tapes of star-studded celebrities doing unthinkable things to minors. Why is Kamala Harris surrounding herself with Hollywood when Hollywood is falling? Is the district attorney in California during the time when all of this was happening? Because these allegations against P. Diddy and all of these other Hollywood elites, they're not new. They've been going on for years. Is it just now being brought up? Why did Danny Masterson just now get held accountable for what he did? Why is P. Diddy just now sitting in jail after, what, 15 years of this stuff? Why is it just now that Kim Porter, who is P. Diddy's ex-girlfriend, now just coming out with her book? After she passed away mysteriously from pneumonia in 2018, why just now? What's happening in Hollywood and with P. Diddy and the rest of them is not the distraction and it is the thing that you should be talking about. Did you know that back in the 16th century, the royal elites thought that they could stay youthful by bathing in the blood of virgins? Did you know that here in 2024, that is a topic that is still being talked about, that is still being looked into, that is still actively being used? Did you know that there are still thousands and thousands and thousands of migrant children that are unaccounted for that just disappeared at the border? This, everything that is going on with Hollywood, Hollywood and all of these people, this is the point, and this is what you need to be paying attention to because P. Diddy is gonna sing like a bird and it's all gonna fall. Yes, when you take a look at what is happening to P. Diddy and the link with these people, I'm seeing pictures of Kamala, P. Diddy with Oprah. You know, like she said on this video, why is Kamala associating herself with a lot of these Hollywood celebrities? because their name is in the mud. And a lot of people thought, like, this is a distraction. Why only now, when this happened to Trump, is it that they want to draw people's attention to what is happening to him, what actually happened to him, so they should not talk about it? Hmm? I don't know, because there is always something like this. If you notice all oh, what has happened to Trump, when it happened today, oh, this thing will just pop up. They will just bring in something different. Why only now? That is a question. And most of these top people are panicking. They are panicking for you. You don't know who... In fact, let me not go there. When you look at the whole situation, it is just like the Hollywood celebrities will go down after this guy unless they want to hide information like they usually do into other cases which i'm not going there right, so let's not bury the lead the big story this week they tried to shoot trump again let's not <laughs> not funny <It's>... okay <laughs> I'm being serious now this is the second time this happened i said this before there can be no fuzz on this this is not funny okay it's not okay it's not okay to wish it happened Well, this is the problem. <laughs> and Stacey, you say today's indictment reads like a mob indictment. What was most shocking to you of all these allegations? Yeah, the fact, Jake, that the government in, in this indictment presented evidence alleging that Sean Cohn's was running a criminal enterprise, and they actually named it in the indictment, the Combs Enterprise. And they said that this enterprise consisted of him as the alleged leader, his employees, assistants, staff, allegedly, that were able to procure women and alleged um, male. And if you are over 18, please register to vote for something else. It's